The first question is, why do we need to keep our records? Um, we hear a lot about record keeping. Number one, it's required. It is, um, if you have a permit or whatever permit you do have, there will be some level of record keeping required. But there's also a benefit to you, the producer, to keep good records. If you're ever questioned about your facility, good records and complete records protect you and demonstrate your level of compliance. Um, documentation is your best defense against any complaint. Um, good records also help you identify trends. Watch for trends such as the level of your nutrient values in your waste analysis will vary throughout the year. Um, also sometimes if you're, um, if you're accustomed to seeing your nutrient, your nitrogen levels at uh, around two pounds of nitrogen per thousand gallons um, and you get one back that's like 4.2 pounds, you know that you need to take another sample immediately. You perhaps got a bad sample or there's an error in the lab. You don't want to be stuck using a sample with a higher nutrient value just because you weren't paying attention and perhaps run out of available um, waste um, application opportunities. It will help you identify problems. If you're looking at your lagoon level records and your rainfall records and a one inch rainfall shows a three inch rise in your lagoon, you'll know that there's a problem. Perhaps you've got a, um, a leak or um, some diversion that needs to be worked on. Good records will wave warning flags to you long before the inspector arrives. And good records also help you see what's working for you. Um, quickly, there's going to be about four different categories of records we're going to talk about. There's permanent records. Um, there's a annual records, things that you'll do on a yearly basis. There's the day-to-day -day operational records. And then there are other things. And the type of records that you have, whatever category they're in, they'll determine really for you how you're going to organize it, what works best for you. Most importantly, though, be organized. For example, if you cannot find your waste plan to show it to the inspector, there's no way that you can be following it. There are various ways. There are filing systems. Some people have notebook systems. Some people have a clipboard system where you keep things nailed up on the wall on a clipboard that you get used on a daily basis. Whatever you're going to do, keep the most current information, probably the current year's information, very handy. Know how to get to it easily. And then the older information, just have it filed so you can get to it with easy access. Retention time is important. The uh, federal permit requires a minimum five years to retain all of your records. Um, we, we work with our farmers and we recommend that you get a good filing cabinet and a, and a safe location that tends not to flood or, or um, maybe in your home office and, and keep information even longer than that. Some things you're going to want to keep forever. Um, things like your original permit, the original and your current waste plans, design information, irrigation inf um, design information, things that are critical to prove the date you established operations um, in the event new um, rules come into place or, or so forth. 